Example 1.1. An employee at LaserKinetics.com borrows $10,000 on May 1st and must repay a total of $10,700 exactly one year later. Determine the interest amount and the interest rate paid. Okay, so before you start or you attempt to solve any problems, I will always recommend that you always list what you have and what you're looking for. So in this case, Right here we see that we have $10,000 and also if you read a little bit before and after the amount that you just identified, you will see some keywords that will help you determine exactly what this is. So before the 10000 it says that these are borrowed. So if they're the borrowed amount, then this will make them the original amount. So we must list it here original amount equals 10,000 and must repay a total of 10,700 okay so this uh, exactly one year later so these 10,700 are after some time has passed so this makes the 10,700 the end amount. So end amount equals to 10,700. Then we must determine the interest amount and the interest rate paid. Even though both of these are interest, okay, they're actually different. The first one, the interest amount okay, will be in terms of money, this is our first unknown, and the second one, the interest rate will be in terms of percentage. Okay, so these are our two unknown. If we go to the notes, you're going to see that the first one, the interest in dollars, is calculated by subtracting the end amount minus the original amount. So we're going to write down the formula here for your reference. So the interest amount in dollars is equal to end amount minus original amount. So all we have to do here is plug in the end amount minus the original. So it will be 10,700 minus the borrowed $10,000, giving us a difference of $700. Okay. So these right here will be your first unknown. Then for the second one, okay, so we need to find the interest rate in the percentage. So we will be using this formula right here, which is the interest accumulated per time unit divided by the original amount times 100%, because remember that this is a rate. Okay, so let's write down the formula below this one. So we're going to have interest rate. which is equal to the interest okay, accumulated, I'm just going to leave it as interest, divided by the original amount okay, times 100%. So if we plug in the, uh, the values into the formulas, we're going to see that the interest that they're talking about here is what we just found. So it's the interest in terms of money. So it will be 700 divided by the given original amount, which are the $10,000 times 100%. If you compute this, you're going to see that the answer is 7%. 
Now, one thing that you should always add is that whenever you have a percentage or an interest rate, you must specify the time period. So in this case, I'm going to highlight it here. It says that the end amount happens one year later. Okay. So this 7% increase occurred after one year. So it's going to be 7% per year. Okay. And this right here will be the answer to your second unknown.